when I get there, I just be like excited to get into Parkrun and be like, I'm just volunteering. You have to, you have to download the app as a timekeeper. Right, on your marks, get set. And then you press, and then you wait. You wait for people to come in, yep, yep, yep. And then you stop. When it's like done, you press submit and then you're done. Parkrun's been a massive part of our life for the past eight years. We have a few personalities as well, which each Parkrun does. I think Em is one of those. And her voice, everyone, everyone <laughs> hears her voice and they know well. she's here. <laughs> make sure you have a lovely weekend. That's why I say every Saturday, make sure you have a good weekend. So Em lives with Williams Syndrome. It was something that she was born with and it happens in about one in 10,000 births. So M has some intellectual disabilities, some spatial awareness problems, but it also gives her some unique abilities as well. The first time as she has a unique ability to remember faces, she would say, that's a new person. And she would just go and introduce herself in an endearing way and she could communicate with them on a level where it would make them relax and feel welcome. Since Em started Parkrun, she's become a lot more independent. Even talking to people is, is learning for her on how to communicate and how to ask questions and what's appropriate and what's not. But that's where her volunteering comes in. That's her way of participating um, in Parkrun. It's been great and something to look forward to every week for Em. Em was there since day one and it's probably to the point now where she could almost run it. Be like, hey guys, guess who's gonna, guess who's gonna tell you what to do? It's me.